Oh, good day team. Back in the field. And whew, it is a hot day. Black pants were a bad choice, but that's okay. I've got two works of art to be doing today. One big brush, one smaller brush, a whole bunch of paint, and just like yesterday, I have my wok. Wok you want. We've got it sorted today. I'm enjoying the wok, guys. It's unconventional. It's unconventional and it's fun. And uh, something to be said about running late to your own party. We need to get set up here. So, here is what the setup party process looks like. We have ourselves an easel. This thing packs down to be as small as a briefcase. And I tighten it up, get it set up. And now, just like that, it's good to go. That easy. That's how an easel should be. Hello from Mexico, and who's that there? Mikey. My day's going fantastic, Mikey. I hope the same's going for you. Oh, it's all. Up we go here. Big easel. Big canvas. Big canvas. There we go. Bang. Spin this around a wee bit. There we go. Whoops. Watch out for that. The image to there. There we go. How's that? How is that? We are looking good. I think I might just angle it up a little bit more, just a touch. And today, in the heat, appropriately, I want to focus on the warm colours, the uh, vibrant warm hues of Texas. That's the plan. So, with my wok in hand and uh, picture in tow, let's add some warm hues to it. Ah, it's beautiful. A lot going on. Lots of colour. Right. And if we get enough done on this one, if we get enough done on this one, I have a second picture, a kiss goodbye to also continue on with. But we'll make sure we can add those big cascading giant layers on this one. And then after we've done that, ah, I'll give some more detailed, light, fun energy to a kiss goodbye. That's the plan. Right. Cheers, Mikey. All right, first thing to do first. First thing is first. Sunblock. It's too hot out today to leave this at all. We need this immediately. There we go. Stop me from getting burnt. The pants are heating up like no man's business, but uh, I won't need sunblock on those. Ooh. There we go. On the neck, on the front. The ears. That's where I'll typically forget to put it. There we go. And then wipe off my sticky hands on my pants. Just the way my mother taught me not to do. Okay. Now, what you want. Let's go. There we are. Pictures up. Today, <laughs> I have so we can take as long as we want to take. And I brought my water bottle. Huh, that's weird. There we go. We still alive? We're still alive. Something weird happened. Perfect. It's late, so good night. Well, thanks for joining in for a few seconds. You could hang around till paint hits canvas, but you are, uh, I'm live? Wait, is this live? 
No one told me that. Oh my God, this is so awkward. <laughs> Here we go. No, you're right. Um, <clears throat> I, 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 I thought it was asking me for my mobile number. It's a bit strange. And I thought it paused the live to do it. But anyway, fine. I'll stay for a little bit. Look, I appreciate you. <laughs> Hang out here. Just for, just for a wee bit. Not too long, just for a wee bit. Warm colours on a Texas landscape. So, a little bit of Naples. Naples isn't cold, uh, isn't warm, but it's that in-between zone. I've got some very, very flamey red. I've got some very, very lush. Lush, 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 lush. Yellow, and I'm going to use some green. Some expensive green. And then I'm going to combine those four colours into the most exciting palette of all time. Grey, black, and white. I know. I know. I'm wild. Crazy, in fact. There we go. Instead of black, though, we might go for Payne's Grey. Just to soften it a wee bit. Black might be a bit intense. There we go. Now... Bear with me here. I'm going to do a little bit of a brew. Whoop. Normally I do this stuff uh, offset, but you can watch me do a little bit of a mix this time. Get my 50-50 blend going on. There we go. Just two different liquids. Usually I like three, but just to alter the viscosity. Viscosity. Just a wee bit. I have been to Europe. I went start of Jeepers. 2022. Okay, now painting a lot like cooking. You add your ingredients in there, like this, in the heat of the day, to get that color just right. Just give it a light saute under the heat of the sun. Zhuzh it around. If you've got a spatula, even better, flip the colors over to make sure the pigment's equal, equally distributed. And if you've been here before, you'll know that's just an outright lie. Don't do any of that. Here we go. <laughs> this is my, uh, this isn't my backyard. I mean, this is every Kiwi's backyard. This is a park. So we're in a park right now. And uh, Scottish blood. Jeepers, I wish I had some Scottish blood in me. But no, I don't think I do. My ancestors long, long ago are from a place called Cornwall. But uh, myself... No, I, uh, let me bring you around this way a little bit. There we go. Now you're in position, team. But uh, I sort of consider myself a full blood, run of the mill Kiwi, which is probably pretty fair. Okay. <sighs> greens, 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 greens. <laughs> we'll get onto the smaller brush, but not yet. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. No one's saying do this. No one's saying see here. No one's saying stop that. Okay. Gaze in here. Good. Okay. We are ready to dance. LJ, welcome on in at the start. <laughs> you know the song? It gets very, very stuck in my head. No one's saying stop that. No one's saying see here. Now see here, poor Zazu. He's just trying to run a kingdom. I'm not sure Mufasa was all that great at mix either, so I think Zazu was carrying a disproportionate amount of uh, <laughs> responsibility. I mean, Mufasa gave him all the responsibility, so Mufasa made it very, very tough to run. He ran that uh, kingdom into the ground, but I feel like 
although he was the worst, I feel like Zazu wasn't completely well looked after under Mufasa. Probably, it's probably the case that uh, Zazu enjoyed being under Simba a whole lot because Zazu could tell Simba off, but he couldn't tell Mufasa what to do. But since Simba hadn't grown up in the kingdom, he'd only reconnected with Zazu, I think Zazu still felt that connection that he had with Simba when Simba was a young cub. So felt more okay bossing him around. I haven't seen later episodes of Lion King, movie series of Lion King, so I can't confirm that, but uh, it sounds right. Here we go. Hello, Steve. Welcome on in, LJ. There we go. And if I... I think we might actually do a little dance, make a little love, get down to a small brush. Get down to that, do a little dance, and make a little love, get down to that, get down to that. Yeah, you little detailed brush, you. Get on in there and dice those hills the way I want them to be diced. There we go, down there. Bum, 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 bum. La da di da da di da. La da di do da di da. La da 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 di da 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 di. Da 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 dee da day. La do da da di da. La da dee dee da di day. And if I could swallow my pride. Ah, what's been said here, guys? That palette isn't the greatest palette of all time. Beautiful day in Australia. This is New Zealand, but I love the attitude. Very similar to Australia, to be fair. Welcome to TikTok. Well, thank you very much. I've been here a little while, but it's a pleasure always to get welcomed in somewhere. Hey there. Yeah, you can track me down on uh, Sib Gower. Sib Gower Art. That's the one. On yeah, that's the one. You'll find me all over the show. Okay. And you'll see this picture and other ones and Beautiful. yeah. Zebka. Is that with an F or a Z? S. S. But good question. Yeah. Solid question. Yeah. Short for Sebastian. Short for Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually um it's on a live stream right now actually. So oh. Yeah, you're famous. Yelda. You're famous <laughs> with seventy seven people. Wow. From random Beautiful. places around the world. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Hey, thank you so much. You too. Catch ya. All right. My joke was so good. I missed the joke. <laughs> Is drawing hard? Look, jeepers. A lot of things are tough, guys. Regardless of the expression you use, expressing yourself is hard, I think. And in this case here, I think that's the biggest barrier to get over. How do you express yourself through art? Singing, poetry, whatever you do, how do you express yourself? How do you actually be honest and not know that you're, and know that you're not projecting who you think everyone wants to see out there? When I was younger, when I was a younger artist, I thought I was doing the real art that was me, but it turns out actually, looking back on it now, no, no, I was too hung up on what I thought everyone wanted me to be. The art was strangled, controlled. 
it lacked that lively vigor that it contains now. And that did come from trying to, I don't want to use the word people please because it's a buzzword, but it did come from basically, I think, should I say not knowing who I was? Is that fair? Is that fear on the old me? Probably. Probably. I think I was just insecure, guys. I think I was insecure that if someone actually saw the way I wanted to make art, or what I thought actually expressed myself in art, that I would be thought less of for it. When actually, if I ever wanted to be thought less of, doing art that really didn't express me, that's the way you'd do that. So there's a cruel irony to that. And I'm lucky as an artist, I suppose, to this stage of my life, feel, whether I'm there or not, I may look back on this time and be like, I was totally not there. To feel like I'm actually giving you guys something real in the art. Being real in some way. The pan. The pan's ridiculous, guys, I know, but I'm really, really enjoying it, so let it be just that. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. If Seb Gower uses a pan, let it be. There must be an answer, let it be. Don't, don't, don't. There we go. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Massive, massive landscape. Slowly adding one color after the next. Building it out. Building it out. More attention down here. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Oh, let it be. Ah, one more time. Fantastic. Everyone's doing great. Alicia, welcome on in. And Samara, as per usual, lovely to have you here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So while I'm here with you today, Shelby's out doing a little bit of op shopping. And I get this lovely little spot in the middle of nature all to myself. Myself and that lovely traveler that just popped by. She saw me getting in here and she's like, why are you, why are you running? What's going on? And I'm like, I'm late. She's like, what are you doing? I'm painting. And she's, I think she was a bit perplexed as to why I was in such a hurry. But we started this on the dot of 12. And so I couldn't be late to my own party. That'd be incredibly rude. So there was a bit of a hurry that occurred. A scurry, a hurry scurry. There we go. Let it be, let it be. Let it be, let it be. There will be an answer. That sun pounds down all right. Yeah. It's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Oh yeah. Man, there's a lot of heat out. Give it to me. Give it to me. Heat me up. Give me, give me, give me you man after midnight. Once a da 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 Am I posting this live later? Yes I am. I'm a little bit behind on the live posting, but uh yes, absolutely. 
and welcome on in. <clears throat> mm. Can't sing actually. I actually can't hear notes. Pitch. Can't do it. Someone's like, sing this bar, this bar. I'm like, can't hear it. But when singers like Elton John or Abba have that emotion behind it, I sort of just sing along with the emotion and the tone seems to hit. But actually, in person, tone death. Completely tone death. I think it's a rude term to say tone death, actually. That's like saying talentless in art, I suppose, but uh, it feels that way. <clears throat> Here we go. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. I want to better dun da 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 There we go. Speckling over their nature. Give me, give me, give me a man. After midnight. Ha ba da ba La ba da be. Yeah da dee da da dee da. Yeah da dee do da dee dee. Get a bit of this through there. We go. Hello. Give me a bit of that. Nice warm deep tone. Splash that round. Yeah, there we go. A bit more there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey Jay, how we doing? <laughs> the fact that he is using a pan is inspirational. It's uh, you could look at it that way, or desperate. <laughs> um, no, I, I was using it yesterday because I ran out of plates. Now today I do have plates. Today I do have plates, but it was so much fun using the pan that we're back here again using this wonderful device. It's, um, it's good, it's good. You fall for it, it has a venage et toi to it. And like when you're trying to get those little fine details, sometimes you can tense yourself up, but for me, you can add that tension through the pan and uh, grip the handle tighter, allowing you to not take that tension onto the art and disperse it before it goes through the stroke. I know that sounds strange, but uh, sometimes you can strangle the stroke too much trying to get the land in just the right place. So that's always a nice touch. Here we go. La ba dee boom da dee da. La ba dee boom ba dee day. There we go. Then over in here, a couple of little touch points. There we go. There's this dabbles down through there. And this comes over here. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And then down in here. <laughs> la da dee do da dee da la da dee do da dee day. Here we go. Mm.
Louis A. There we are. Give me a bit more of that red pow. <laughs> yep, it's cooking show. You've hit the nail in one. It's exactly what's happening here. We're cooking. Cooking on gas. It's the same in New Zealand. I don't know if you use that overseas, but uh, cooking on gas means you're making good ground. Beautiful. Enjoying the scenery from Carly. Welcome on in, you absolute legend. Let me have a look see here. I think we might bring you guys around us a little bit so you can see just a wee bit better. Bear with me while I reposition you. How's that? Can you see the artwork better? You should be able to from there. There we go. Beautiful. How's your favorite Kiwi RC? I'm doing fantastic. How much the painting dear? This one is not available. So, while I would love for this piece to become a part of your life, this piece already has an owner. It, once it's finished, will make its way to hmm. Texas. It's final resting spot. It's forever home. So, right now. We just need to enjoy it. See where it goes. Here we go. Naples yellow. Where's my brush going? I'm gonna move down to the smaller brush. Here we go. Paint the trees and the daffodils With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Strangers that we've met The ragged men in ragged clothes 
the silver thorn, the bloody rose. Eyes of the world. Da, da, da. La da 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 da. <laughs> Keller's really coming together. Thank you, William. We're doing some impasto techniques now. So we've got those beautiful deep tones happening, but I want some more popping uh, warm colors, just hitting the tops of those little bushes and shrubs and things. That's the plan. That is the plan, team. Hello, no I'm not, but one day I will. One day I will be. If not today, then someday soon. Da 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 da. La da 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 do. For today, I remember your smile. For today, I remember your smile. Alrighty, a bit more water and we will continue. Mm. Yum, been outside, yeah. With a picture like this that uses so many colors, you can't afford to be inside because unfortunately, no matter how hard you try, <clears throat> you can't replicate the beauty in the changing light of the outdoors. You need to be outside. You have to be outside. So, well, the temptation comes in to be like, oh no, we'll just work from the studio today. Long term, you'll lose something, especially, especially in landscapes. Landscapes do not tolerate the indoors. They can be started, but actually long term, they need that sweet, sweet outside open air. They just can't breathe. It's weird to say that, but uh, landscapes do need to breathe. Figuratively. From plein air, plein air painting. La da dee doo da dee da. Here we are. La ba dee boom ba dee da, la da dee do da dee day. Please read my TikTok DM after this. 
If I remember, I would absolutely love to. I cannot wait. I hope it says something very, very helpful. I hope I can help out in some way. Um, and if you do have trouble, you can always email me at sibgower at gmail.com if you have an inquiry. But uh, the DMs also work. The DMs also work. Get in touch the way, however you feel. Whew. There's our messy pan. Jeepers creepers, how are we doing here? Oh no, guys, I think I just felt something really bad. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dearie me. Yes, it happened. Just a disaster team. Oh, oh, it already happened over there. Oh wait, we've already broken the seal down here. I'll just show you. We got paint. Voila. Ruined, done and dusted, broken. But that's okay. And uh, guys, we are 400 likes off 10,000 likes, you absolute bunch of champions. For everyone who's been smashing that like button, I very, very much appreciate you. And uh, if I missed your questions or comments, I'm sorry. I try and get in and out. I love that. Kloiber, it seems he's created his own art style. I think, Kloiber, I think, I think, I think, I think, it feels like its own art style when an artist finds the way they want to paint. When they've been there, so I say their true self, I feel like the art itself actually feels more real and it feels unique. Whether it's its own unique style or not, like, uh, Van Gogh painted from the heart, and his stuff feels real. Just like Monet painted from the heart, and there's lots of Monet paintings. This one kind of looks Monet-y itself. He painted from the heart as well. And yet, we also feel like his stuff was unique. And so I think it's less about actually being visually unique, and more about is the artist actually truly happy and comfortable that what they're making represents them? Because in that way, it would be unique. It would be something special just to that person. And guys, I, f I feel like I do. I feel like I do. I chop and change my style a little bit. But I feel like it's true expression. I feel like a bit of me's showing up in this work. And that's a beautiful thing. I'm trying to get you to... Oh, Marty. Marty, I love you to bits. You are welcome here anytime, Marty. What? Uh, and when will you end this live? <clears throat> Who's that there? I can't read that name. Styles of art, but every artist... Perfect. I wouldn't say correct, though. I could be wrong. You could be wrong. The best way to put that is rather than saying correct, let's use the word, it sounds silly, but let's say agree. I agree. I disagree. When we say that's correct, I feel like we sort of say that there's a definitive right answer that we're always trying to get to. And that's been the fallacy of art the whole way through. Chuck. Chuck, I did, and I'm very, very excited about it. I've almost smashed half of it. So I guess, guys, to answer the question of when the live we finishing today, I think it'll finish when I run out of water. But let's work with it and let's see how long we can go for. If we end up being here for another um, hour, I don't think we'll go longer than another hour, guys. I think that's a fair thing to say. We will not go longer than another hour. The water won't last. And the water's a... Uh, key player in this equation, so the water will decide our fate, is what I'm trying to say. la ba dee boom ba dee da la da dee do da dee day This yellow, that's Naples. Here we go. My candium free yellow dip. That's what I'm after. Voila. 
righty tighty. Haha, <laughs> I'm not from your country. Correct means agree to me. You know what? In that case, I'll shut up because that means that I was just trying to correct you about something that didn't even matter. Meaning that the point I was making was a point that I should have been saying directly into the mirror. I'm glad you're here. I hill. I hill. I hill. I can't pronounce that. Sorry, I can't quite read it with a light in my eyes. But uh, you are in the right. Not that there's definitive rights and wrongs. In fact, instead of saying you're in the right, let's say I'm in the wrong. That's more constructive. <laughs> right. That's a lot of capitals. Tough to read that. How much do you usually sell each pieces of art? It varies dramatically. It varies dramatically because it doesn't, it depends where you're shipping it to. And what you mean by art, like to get an original, a big picture like this, you're talking about costs like shipping and framing and time. To get this in the form of a puzzle, you're talking only about $50, $60. To get uh, a print, because of the quality and where they come from and things, they can cost a few hundred. And then the originals themselves, they can be up to, they can be a few to several thousand, like there's a variation to everything. But I think artists today have a responsibility rather than just saying I make originals and that's all I do and take it or leave it, there is a responsibility to actually produce art for everyone. How can everyone get a hold of it? You know, Van Gogh's work may go for several million dollars each, but we've all experienced Starry Starry Night. So that's precious, right? That's important. And if we talk like that, I think it's really important, like, hanging out here with this art. If this art's going to a private residence somewhere on Earth, if we share the process and then there's prints and things like that available, I think everyone can get involved. But this one here, this one has a home. It has a home. It's going to go to that home. And hopefully, in the new space it goes to, the new owners will feel a bit of the pleasure that I felt making it. Because I have felt a lot of pleasure making this. This is, I've been to Texas three times. Every time I loved it a little bit more. The one thing I remember is how expansive the skies were. And uh, it's actually a pleasure to be able to sit here and paint a place that actually, although I'm not from, I have a deep love for. Love Texas. It's got an international reputation. <laughs> I don't think anyone is wrong. I get your point. That's good. That's good. And who's that there? Hey, Larry. Larry? Laurie? Like Lon from uh, the notebook. Was it Loz? Lon. It was Lon, eh? Lon from the notebook. He's a legend, by the way. What an, what an absolutely outstanding guy. To fall in love, propose to her. Before the wedding, she runs away and cheats on him. He meets up with her and constructively says... Follow your dreams. <laughs> what a guy. Like, in an unconventional sense, a real adult. Like, that must have been incredibly tough. Incredibly tough. How long from start to finish will one specifically be take more or less to complete? And thanks, Dragonfly. So, how long will one take more or less to complete? This is a good question. This is a good question. Now, they vary. So, I'd say anywhere between 5 and 10 layers, 5 and 20 layers, and 
five to 20 hours. And I'd say that actually, I always say this, don't think for a second that the works that take more hours are better. That's a fallacy that you can fall into and it's a trap. They're not better. They're not worse, but they're not better. This one here has gone a bit over time, but that doesn't make it better than the Milford track. This doesn't make it better than Mahalo. This doesn't make it better than these are the paintings. It just has a different journey that it's personally going on. And we're not here forcing it saying, all right, it has to meet this mark by then and this mark by then, otherwise, you know, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. We let this painting grow at its own rate. We let this painting be its own painting. And if it chooses to take longer to emerge, so be it. So be it. That's no one's problem but the artist. That's the trade you're in. Sometimes a painting takes longer to reveal itself to you. Because you are painting everything at once with a style. It's all coming out together. You can't put pressure on it. It's kind of like... <laughs> it's kind of like teaching or raising children, right? You've got to uh, do your very best, but let it happen at its own pace. <laughs> Walk a day for it, all right. Are you having a good day? Great work, my friend. Thank you, Corey. And sorry for all the squinting at the camera. The sun's at a uh, position right now where it's blasting straight into my eyes. So it's, uh, it's good for the painting. It's bad to try and uh, read. Mm. Yum. Mm. You know, one thing I'm gonna regret here my definite regret is going to be not bringing two bottles of water. I will learn my lesson. One was never enough. I already knew that too. Never enough. What's that? Ah, uh, Greatest Showman. That's right. All oh, the stars from billion spotlights. One thing I love about that song is she sounds like she's greedy, that she wants so much more, you know. But actually, she prefaces it by saying without you. So without you, without the person, it'll never be enough. Nothing. Not all this, not all that. Nothing will be enough if I don't have you to share it with. That is kind of beautiful. I love that. I love someone who's determined to want what they want. Okay, boss. Sorry, boss. Hey, farm TikTok. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he was. Uh, was he spamming? I thought farm TikTok was all good. Just in here with a lovely little comment, hanging out. But maybe I missed something naughty that farm boss was doing. Maybe I wasn't paying attention properly and farm boss is causing all kinds of trouble. I haven't got my eyes on you, farm boss. <laughs> You'd think that's the wrong way around, but it's not. It's, it's, it's honesty. It's, uh, rather than saying, looking at the painting with both eyes and saying, I've got my eyes on you, I'll be honest and say, both my eyes are not on you. What about the sunscreen? I'm covered in sunscreen. Am I still in the Todonga area? Am I still in the Tauranga area? I am not in the Tauranga area, but I do pop backwards and forwards. So, you may see me in Tauranga again soon. Don't be disheartened if you haven't seen me. That's totally okay. That's totally okay. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. Beautiful. That's gonna sneak through there. That's gonna sneak in there. And down, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Ooh, here's a new technique. There we go. The old tuck under the shoulder and paint trick. A personal favorite as of three seconds ago. Yeah, there we go. Give me that sweet, sweet medium yellow. And dash that through here. Push it around there. Subtle, 
just bringing out those bits of detail bit by bit. Don't want to try and ravage it too much, just want it to gently come into fruition. If you strangle these paintings, especially at this stage, with all the layering we've done, now that we're doing these more impasto effects, we stand to lose so much with an incorrect stroke. That risk factor, that gentle factor that we may just break. Hard work, that we stand to lose effort that's been applied. Guys, there's a thrill to that. Makes every stroke seem more daring, more dangerous, more fun. Ooh. My white needs a bit of help. There we go. Mix you in there. Give me that lime. There we are. Beautiful. Just gonna splash this around through these hills. Mm. Just like that. Mix that in there too. Light yellow. Great ocean video, you risk taker. So cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, there was a bit of a. Uh... <laughs> that was um, that was a bit of fun. But uh, yes, reckless, reckless, and um, I think we're going to do it again. In all honesty, it is fun taking those risks with art. Anything that can get your heart racing while you're painting, I think rubs off on the strokes. It's challenging at the time. It's really challenging at the time, but afterwards, powerful. It feels good. It feels really, really good. There we go. All oh, the stars of a million spots spotlights, all the things we tear from the night sky will never be enough, never be enough for me, never enough, never, never, never. the walk, yeah. It is what it is, team. It is what it is. The walk's getting love. Kenny likes the walk. Why do you feel like we're talking about... I mean, I'm confused. But, but, one thing I'm not confused about is where land these impasto strokes. Let me stand back for a little bit. And actually, who wants to come on a journey with me? Who wants to uh, do a bit of a fun thing? Ooh, let me just stand back here for a moment. Have a little look-see at this. Okay. Not sure what's happening here, but my time lapse is playing up on me. We'll fix that. I think what's happening is there's too much content on this iPhone now, <laughs> which means it's uh, struggling to, 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 taking you content. I'm just guessing though, I think that's what's happening. Never enough, never, never. It's all right though. We'll just put this down. Just do the live team. All right, let's bring you guys into a position where we can see what's happening. Mike, it's going fantastically. Ray, okay. Now, let's do the game. Okay, come back here with me. Come back here with me. You can see that's in the middle of the field there. We're not painting what's behind me, but at this perspective, can I crouch down in here? At this perspective, you wanna be able to see the idea that a river's cutting through that there's trees, that there's fields, and that there's mountains and a sky in the background. At this distance, even though it's small on your phone, you should see the most definition in the work. The closer we get from here, the more confused and chaotic it's gonna get. Let's bring it to the 50-50 distance. About there, 
Yeah. Wait, let's get that equal. There we go. So about this distance. At this distance, at this distance, what you'll see is half the image and half chaotic paint. Things that were making sense will start to disjoin themselves and turn into wild paint. So this is a fun point to see it from. This is where you're at a, uh, in the living room or something, sitting down having a cup of tea. Where you're sitting from right now and seeing that perspective, that's the distance point. Now, the next step, the five feet. Or at this point, we're at, uh, what would that be? Four feet. You're at four feet of distance there. So now it's really starting to get wild and you'll see less context so normally when you go close to a picture, what you'd expect to see is more detail. The closer you get, you'll start to make out leaves, branches, um, cars, houses, doors, faces, smiles, who knows. With this kind of art, you'll notice that actually, weirdly enough, the closer we get, we lose that definition. <laughs> Cheers, Jason. <laughs> we lose that definition. And if we come right up close to it, I'm gonna spin you around here. Let me use that little uh, feature on the phone if I can find it. Whoop, not mirror my camera. What's that doing? Flip the camera. Flip camera. There we go. Now you're facing randomly out into the field. So you can enjoy what a random field looks like. I hope you enjoy that. And we're gonna spin this around. You'll be wondering <laughs> where I came from here. Okay, so now we're here. Now the sun's just gone behind a cloud, so we'll lose a bit of color. You might've noticed that. But as we come right in, let's pick a spot. <laughs> Locked in, okay. Coming all the way back, all the way back. We see that water going through 700 Springs Ranch. Now let's walk forward. Okay. And we have that definition point. We lose definition. We come right here close. And this is what we have up close. So many layers. Now we don't want to see any, any branches or trees when we get this close. All we want to see is complete and utter chaos. This is like when you wake up in the morning and all you can concentrate on is your coffee and then get in your car and then get into work and the task's right in front of your face. Nothing makes sense. Nothing wants to make sense. Look at that stupidly wild. Look at that, what is that? But, when we come out, ah, oh, those were trees. Oh, those were reflections onto the lake. Oh, oh, oh. And all of a sudden, the whole picture comes on with a very, very different context. So, the fun behind that, the fun behind that, let me just put you guys down. The fun behind that, is that a good, what you doing there? What you doing there, Willis? Push that out of the way. Perfect. Yeah, there we go, team. The fun behind that is that a lot of times with a painting, when you're close to it, it can be a lot. It can be right there in your grill. It can be hard to make out, um, hard to relax. Just, that's the best way to put it. It's a lot. But with a painting like this, as chaotic as it is, you can be right up close to it and it doesn't offend you to be this close to the subject matter. It just feels like chaotic paint. Except when you come back this sort of distance and you look at it again, and ah, something's kind of coming out there, but you can enjoy the nuances and the chaos of the paint, and then you take a bigger step back from across the room and the whole picture comes into context. That's part of the fun. That's part of the fun. Right, Mike, welcome on in. And do 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 do. <laughs> See, you really brought it together. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's not, there's still a few little points we want to dabble with, definitely see, but um, it is getting into that pocket that, um, who's that, uh, who's the guy who throws the ball really well? Uh, Tom Brady, in the Tom Brady pocket. Do, 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 do. Amazing the different Street Oaks created must be, thanks Shrek, Shrek, Van. Smiley face, thanks, and Duran, welcome on in. Sorry guys, I ran off for a bit to do that whole rant, but, uh, but it's important so you guys can see up close and further away what's actually, what's actually happening. Do, 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 do. 
Chaos is beautiful. This one looks amazing. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that, you know. It's nice. Makes me feel good. <laughs> Tara, this is one of your faves. Yes. Illusion. That's interesting. No, aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. I think it feels like illusion because you can't whittle down exactly what's happening. I think there's this dance between chaos and control, and humans hate that. We don't mind having no control, okay? Okay, except there's no control, and in a weird way, that gives us control over it. We like having full control, okay? No chaos, we have full control, everything's gonna go to as planned. That's realism art. And then uh, you have this weird sort of gray area. We hate that, please put it at least more to one side. When it's right down the middle, we constantly dance backwards and forwards, and that, I wouldn't call it an uncomfortable zone, but that particular zone definitely, definitely feels like an illusion, as if someone's trying to trick you. But no one is trying to trick you. It's actually just the way the arts come together. The way the art comes together. Oh, misty eye of the mountain below. Um, sorry guys, I'm just gonna do one last little check here and see if I can't. That'll explain why. I've got 8,500 videos on my phone. So if we're wondering why I've got no room to record, that would be a fair enough explanation. Now filter, I wonder, I'm on an iPhone guys, how do we? Mm -mm 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 -mm. We want to delete the biggest videos of the 8,000. Ideally. <laughs> hey, Lewis. Is it Lewis or Lois? It's Lewis. Lewis. My cousin's called Louis. Um, I should have some big ones in here somewhere, guys. And I'll probably go further up the daisy chain to make sure we don't delete something important. Because it's nice to get the, uh, the footage to accompany it, because then... What's really cool is we have a reel, a time lapse, all the fun stuff. But if I don't do it, then we don't have it. Holy heck, this will be why. It's got stuff in here from last year's painting sessions. Jeepers. It's got the ones from the, uh, whoop. It's even got the ones from the pontoon. <laughs> Do you have pricing for commissions, Duran? So commissions take on a variety of different forms. The best thing to do, and I appreciate uh, Jay, you tagging that one. The best thing to do is leap on the link in the bio. Tell me whereabouts in the world you're based. Tell me the size you're looking at and what the project basically look or feels like. Um, from there, I can come back to you with an estimation of our project. And uh, look, that doesn't mean you're ready to pull the, the, the trigger on it whatsoever. What it does mean is that you've got, you're just interested in just figuring out what may be possible. Um, you can sit on that for a long period of time. You might think, yes, no, I'm good to go, let's do it. Or you might think, thanks for that information, actually, <laughs> like, like a, uh, like a mechanic, where you're like, thanks for the information, I've got your quote now, I'm gonna to go to another artist. <laughs> I've never had that before, but you know, that's, uh, that's, I don't think artists are like mechanics in that sense. I just found a five hour video that I just deleted. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we hit the mega ship. And if I select all these items, delete all, pow, now, I think we did it team. I think we did it as a team. And with that done now, I think we can get back to what we do best. Anything that's not technology. <laughs> I, I, uh, I do love tech. Don't get me wrong guys, I love technology, but I, you'll know that I battle a wee bit. Back when we were playing around with the uh, the stream I was battling away with some funny stuff like I was trying to figure out how to 
put music in the background and the stream kept getting banned on different platforms. That was funny. And I was trying to figure out how to um, connect the sound and like maybe like half the lives would start with no sound for like an extended period of time. Thanks, Pharaoh. You were a legend, by the way. Thank you. Um, <laughs> until Jay Smith or Jules or uh, RC or someone would come in, Justin, and be like, hey, uh, just quickly, there is no sound here. And I'd be like, that wasn't intentional. I'm sorry. Let me dabble with how we'll fix that. Da da dee da da dee da. La da dee do da dee day. And da ya. More energy, more passion, more footwork. There will be an answer. Let it be. Don't do do. Let it be. Let it be. Such a beautiful song. It'd be funny actually, if you're the friends of that guy, quite funny, would you ever like go, I wonder what David's opinion is? I forget what his actual name is. They're like, don't ask him, he's just gonna say, let it be. He's just gonna say, let it be. It'd be a bit annoying actually if you're one of his friends that wanted to uh, kick up a fuss about something. And you'd be like, don't, don't ask him. Don't, I know what he's gonna say. And in this case here, I don't want to play it cool. I want to get angry. It was grey in the UK two days in a row. Lucky it's sunny. It is lucky it's sunny. It's a beautiful day. The clouds, uh, the sun's just gone behind a cloud, to be fair. But uh, it's about to pop back out, I reckon. And when it pops back out, the world will be our oyster, which will be lovely. Ba ba beep boom ba di da. La da dee doo da dee day. Wow. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Classic. Missed the box. <laughs> no. Funny today. No, I'm a nincompoop today. Strokes are landing on the canvas just about perfectly, but I'll tell you what, everything happening behind the scenes, I was late to my own party by a few minutes. I uh, have missed with everything I've thrown back into the buck bucket so far. And uh, I've made a pretty big mess of my painting palette. Ooh, got energy back into my forearm now. I'll hold it for a little bit like this. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Beautiful. Just splash that around through there. La ba dee boom ba dee da. La ba dee boom ba dee day. Oh, 
misty eye of the mountain below. Keep careful watch over my brother's soul. And if the sky be filled with fire and smoke, keep watching over. <laughs> That's what makes it fun, eh? Fair enough. Fair enough. There we go. Splash it around through there. And then down through here. Yeah, there we go. Ah, lovely. Lovely. And it can cut through there. Nice. And then that. Little double thing there. It's all good. That's all good. Hmm. All right. Hello. New Zealand looks beautiful. Ever been to the States? Jeepers. Four or five times, actually. I love the States. Sorry, four or five times. Who am I kidding? I've been to the States eight times. I love the States. I love the States. There's, um, I've been in a van to almost all the States. I think I've been to all of them. I need to double check. That Johnny Cash song basically uh, highlights my trip around the States pretty well. What's your most difficult painting I've done to date? Um, I think paintings scale with you so I think it's hard to say what's the most difficult one when actually rather than paintings getting more difficult you make things more difficult for yourself um, your skill level gets higher what you see gets more intense um, what you try to express becomes more difficult all these things together I think you can say that uh, I think what I would say is, with that trail of thought, this is, the most, this is the most difficult painting to date. We're trying to, with our newfound experience of every other work I've ever done, capture something fresh and new within this work. So yeah, this one. And then after this one's done, whatever the next one is, should, should be, the next artist painting. Think about it this way. Would you want to buy an artist's art if they said, oh, that picture was easy. I did that yesterday. No trouble at all. Really not fast. Or would you commission a piece of artwork if you felt like, yeah, I've done my hardest projects. I'll do something nice and simple for you. It won't really move me, change me. I think if, when I order a commission, I'd like something that actually, not only that gets emotional investment from the creator, but I'd like to think the creator in some small way was changed or bettered by the project is that arrogant like we're not talking about revolutionary change but just enough change that actually the project itself felt like it was a valuable emotional exercise to the artist yeah i get an agreement there <laughs> perfect that makes sense each one is better than i wouldn't say better don't, I wouldn't say better. Think about it and like, do you think you're a, a better person? Do you think you are objectively a better person today? So I'm 31 now, so I'm not sure how old you are, but let's say the last decade. So for me, it was my 20s. Am I objectively a better person today than I was in my 20s? Ah, I might be nicer. I might be more expressive, flamboyant, spontaneous, whatever, than in my 20s. Yeah, I'll give myself that, but better. Better as an objective word. 
better doesn't work for art. Better doesn't um, exist in the same vocabulary as art. If it's a correct form of expression, it can't be better than it. And in this case here, with this picture, if we actually, if we don't express ourselves properly, yeah, there will be better art. But if we can actually express ourselves through it and capture something a little bit real within the picture, nah, there won't be better art than it. Never, there won't be better art, but there will be new art. There will be art from Seb's 40s, art from Seb's 50s, art from Seb's 60s. But this will be something unique. This will be how I expressed myself when me and Josh connected and we decided to work for the 100 Springs Ranch in Seb's 30s. But I don't think there will be a better, like you won't come back to 700 Springs Ranch in my 40s or 50s and be like, I'm gonna do something that's objectively better than that. Nah, no way, no way, impossible. More advanced, nah, again, more advanced, ugh. We're falling into that same trap, that same trap. Language dangerous. Do you realize, that is a lovely, lovely thing to say. There we go. No arrogance, coherent, yes. Nah, it's not arrogant, you just value real art when it comes to the soul. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like... Um, I, guys, this, this sort of connection with the art typically does come from mistakes as well. I wasn't always like this. Um, I made a different kind of art when I was younger and sort of strangled the craft. I always talk about this, I need to show you this artwork. People pleasing art. I made people pleasing art. And uh, it's nice now to actually do art like this and share the process. If anything guys, I'd say that TikTok Live gave this opportunity. You know, the Reddit, the art pan studio, TikTok Live. Being able to share what makes this artwork this artwork has been an incredible journey. And those who've actually followed the long format videos of how yeah, somewhat chaotic illusions come together. This is, uh, this is pretty special. And I appreciate, I really, really appreciate those of you who actually take the time to, whether you like it or not, take the time to actually see if you see the same thing in the art that's really special there's so many people out there guys so many artists who deserve your attention and so to have you here for a brief moment staring at this art considering whether this might be something you'd like not to buy but just like and feel a little moment of happiness in it i really really appreciate that i really really do please know that it looks so beautiful here it is it's beautiful and it is incredibly hot oh my lord i'm trying to play it cool guys but your artist is cooking and it's fantastic for the art it is fantastic for the art because what happens when you cook is you actually get uh much 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 better paint it stays perkier so i sit in a sweltering heat but actually the result behind it the result is beautiful, beautiful, perky paint. So, there's that. Now, in my opinion, the most important thing is making art that you're passionate about and just enjoying it, 100%. Yeah, I applied some sunscreen, great point. I will apply some more though. We'll add some more on shortly. Um, I, 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 I agree 100%. And I always, always pose the thought experiment of how many people would still be artists if the moment a piece was finished, it ceased to exist. Who would still paint? And the ones who still painted, you would have the proof then that those ones were infusing the artwork with some kind of joy or good positivity because even when the results would cease to exist, it was still something that they desired to pursue. 
So I always try and remind myself of that and imagine, okay, if the artwork didn't exist, if there was no end result, would you still do it like this? Would you still do it like that? How would you feel? And yeah, this is exactly the way I'd make it. The moment it was done, it would disappear. And I know I'm on the right track too. I know I'm on the right track when you consider that thought experiment and then you'd miss it. If you do that thought experiment and you'd miss what you made, then you're on the right track. Then you're on the right track. We're not far off giving this painting a stand down period, guys. We're not far off that. I think we're almost in that zone already. I'm going to add a bit more white, just tufts in this middle part, but we're getting to the point where actually I've got very, very little that I'm spotting and saying, yes, that's needed. Yes, that's needed. I'm starting to actually see. 700 Springs Ranch coming into fruition here. There we go. And that's gonna just bask down there a little bit. And that, yeah. Beautiful. And we'll pause there. We're not gonna stop though, guys. We're gonna stop on this one. I need to give this a stand down period now. What a stand down period is, what a stand down period is, is I give it um, 48 hours to just be like this. And I'll usually hang it up inside my own home in my foyer where I'll glance at it daily um, or every time I walk in and out of the house. So that, that way I can just take in what it looks and feels like. And I can ask myself every time I see it, is it there? Have you captured it? So let me show you just quickly. <laughs> I, I honestly came live and I didn't expect the cooking jokes, but uh, they make sense now that they're coming in nice and hot. All right, let's come back here. Okay, I'm gonna put you over here. Wahila, there's the painting, the distance there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the image, this is our image. This one here, I'm gonna bring it back here. There we go. Over the top like that. Excuse the uh, intense weather. And then like that, and then down. Okay, there and down. So over it and under it. Now, you should get the feeling of that water popping out of there. You should get the feeling of these bushes popping out of there. The skyline, the way it heads off into the distance, massive expanse. Um, now this isn't, when you say you prefer the painting somehow, um, that's not unusual, but you could also have a response where you say, no, no, I like the photograph. We didn't seek to replicate exactly what's in this photograph as such. That wasn't so much the plan. What was the plan is to find out what was important in the photograph and exacerbate it. So what we do see here is the beauty of the nature, these round, beautiful, voluminous trees. You can see that in this picture here, the accentuation, if that's even a word, of those uh, trees that surround the spring are really puffy and full of color. Okay, even more colors than that's in the photo. Just the same tones are occurring, but the hues skew. And this adds this life to it. So if you were arguing here, this is just light. This is light through a camera lens, grabbing a photo. But this here, this isn't just light, this is life. Because we've actually got that light and we've thrown the kaleidoscope through it and grabbed that vitality and that sort of contagious joy and given the scenery life. That's what we were after. And then you have the correct character there, things are in the right place, but the color palette, that's the fun. All right, we're not done yet though today. We've got a bit more water and another little painting that I want to dabble away with. So, voila. Now, and guys, oh, you absolute bunch of legends. 
we're at 19.4 thousand likes. So I absolutely cannot disappear right now without taking one more painting up and hopefully get into 20,000 because it's been a while. I keep breaking away early. You guys put in the mahi, that means uh, work and da da da, putting in the mahi to get the job done and I just run away on you. So let's not run away today. Let's do a bit more. Let's do a bit more. Thanks, Ferro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay, down with this painting, this beautiful, giant, monstrous. Oh, sorry, there was a question there and I read it and I didn't answer it and I'm sorry. The question was, what's this painting gonna be called? That is an excellent question. That is an absolutely excellent question. So this painting is called 700 Springs Ranch. 700 Springs Ranch. And uh, it exists as in our landscape collection that we've had going on. I was spamming so hard I needed a break. <laughs> um, it's another painting in our collection of landscapes. So if you've been following me for the last year and a half or so, you'll know that we've generally or slowly been doing commissions of uh, states in America. We have, um, <laughs> you could say that Mahalo is the landscape of uh, Hawaii, <laughs> probably a stretch, but um, you've got uh, a city different, which was Santa Fe. Now, some of these aren't the states themselves, some of these are cities, like uh, New York is represented by the Big Apple. Um, there is Treasure State, Montana. There is, now, there is Texas, which is 700 Springs Ranch. I like that Texas, I like that Texas has the word ranch in the, uh, <laughs> in the name. And I love that it's Springs Ranch. It wasn't like, you know, it was a, it's just beautiful. Texas, I always think about it, you know, being, this is gonna sound mean, but being dry. I think of Texas as dry, like a desert almost. And yet, 700 Springs Ranch sounds nourishing. If I went to 700 Springs Ranch, I don't imagine that I'm gonna be thirsty. I imagine that I'm gonna be in a beautiful place, in a beautiful part of the earth. That's what I'd be thinking anyway. Am I wrong for thinking that? I'm not wrong for thinking that. That is definitely correct. 700 Springs Ranch sounds nourishing. Right, let me bring you up here. Let me bring you forward. Whoop. Don't mind me bumping you. There we go. You like Texas Ranch. Um, I will say that none of the paintings so far that have been of um, uh, states have actually been called New York or Montana, or, uh, um, you know, they, they haven't had the actual name of the place. They've been given their slang name. So whatever Texas's slang name is, I don't know off the top of my head, would be the appropriate continuation. But in this case, in this case, I think we're gonna go for 700 Springs Ranch. Although, let me just do one last little thing. And uh, you'd say, oh, the artist gets the final say, I like to do this with the collector. Um, and so the collectors typically get to decide. Um, what's Texas's nickname? The Lone Star State. Okay, the Lone Star State, so. It'll either be called 700 Springs Ranch or the Lone Star State. And that is entirely up for Josh. Well, Josh and, Josh and I to decide. But it'll be one of those two names that I think is the most appropriate. Josh might come out with something else and say, actually, this name suits. Where does the name go? It's just the title. It's just the title, guys. It goes on the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. There's a fancy piece of cold foiled embossed paper that goes behind the artwork. That says, you know, this is the real deal. Here's its size, here's its weight, here's when it was made, here's where it's gone to, here's where it's from, here's what it's called. Um, so the, art, the, the name of the artwork 
shouldn't affect the artwork itself. It's more to actually open up the possibility of connection with viewers and collectors with the art. So in this case here, being a commission, it's owned by someone. How do we actually allow viewers to understand what it is? Is it better framed as the Lone Star State or is it better framed as 700 Springs Ranch? That is the question. Anyway, it was a country once. Interesting, interesting. These are things that I didn't realize. I think I did know that actually. What am I talking about? I think I did. But uh, I appreciate it. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm just setting up this one here. There we go. Is that correct? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who puts him in charge of the stand? Can you see, can you see my shadow battling away with this right now? Be like, come on, Sebastian, figure it out. I'd be like, I'm doing my best. <laughs> okay, left, watching from Ireland. Welcome on in from all the way in Ireland. Hold on, there we go, team. Didn't mean to uh, shank you there. All right, we're in the right position. Someone's watching all the way from Ireland. Welcome on in. Now, it's been a while since we've danced from painting to painting, but uh, this is the perfect day for it. 700 Springs Ranch is now in its stand down period. We are here <gasps> with this wonderful, wonderful piece. I've had the opportunity for three layers on this piece so far. It's looking wild and crazy. It needs some love, that mother's love. A touch on it. Okay. Bada bing boom ba -de ba. Now, let's grab our picture out, team. Our picture. A kiss goodbye. That's what we're working to here. Love your impressionist period. My impressionist period? I suppose it is. I actually feel like I've always been an impressionist painter, but I don't like to use that term because when you say impressionism, it uh, connects you with the old school French impressionists, which I think is wrong because, and I was saying this to someone who disagreed vehemently the other day, who came up to me on the beach, when we say French Impressionists, they were trying to make impressions um, through paint and art. Had they had the ability to use tablets or advanced tech, they definitely would have done that, but they didn't have that available to them. They were using, they were making Impressionist artwork with the best technology at the time. Now, to say, oh, this art's inspired by French Impressionism, no, no it's not. What would be inspired by French Impressionism is those doing Impressionist art on tablets now, using the best technology available to them to do the best kind of art. We have looked at the face of technology and said, nah, nah, we won't do that. We're gonna go rudimentary, primal, old school, and ancient. Um, and that flies in the face of what I believe the, the French Impressionists who were trying to be groundbreaking stood for. So this isn't a renaissance as such, this is, this, is a, this isn't a renaissance the French Impressionists, this is a renaissance right back to primal elements in painting, that very human urge to create. Okay, enough of a yarn about that. Do, 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 do. Hello from Canada, Bobby, welcome on in. Beautiful. We just, guys, 24,000 likes, jeepers, someone's thumb's been busy. Busy thumb. You legends. Right. We've got a little bit of water left. When we run out of water, I do about 10 more minutes. And then uh, it's time to head on in and get some shade. Da 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 da. But for now, we've got this wonderful, wonderful piece of work. I love this picture, guys. I'm gonna need a. I always do some of these works and uh, occasionally. I know a part of the home where I need to hang it. And this one here, although it's commission, I'm gonna get a print of this one. And I'm gonna put it, I've got a spot, just before you turn into the bathroom um, in the house. And the beauty behind that is, I just love that little reminder. You know, it's Chancellor being kissed by his mother, but at the same time, at the same time, I think we all understand or connect with that moment of love, with our mum or our mother figure. So I think that's a beautiful thing. 
I think that is a beautiful thing. A kiss goodbye. And the other thing too is I want to keep the color palette in this picture really zesty, bright, saturated, happy, fun. And the reason why I want to do that is I don't want a kiss goodbye to be understood in a negative light. It needs to have that positivity to it. It needs you to see a kiss goodbye and know that the kiss is a happy kiss, that it's a, it's a loving moment in the family. That's the plan. That is the plan. Guy walking along, cool looking dog just over there. Happy go lucky fella, heading about his day. He didn't stop to wave though, which uh, always hurts my feelings. Guys, if you do see me out in public, you can't, I wouldn't jump in the middle of a stream and start a full blown conversation, but uh, I do love a wave and a hello. <laughs> I love a good wave. Now let's angle this a little bit. I see that the light's hitting a little bit funny. Whew. Wow, there we go, how's that? Bang, give me that light. Sweet baby cakes. And how's our angle there? Absolutely stunning, that's what we're after. la ba dee boom ba dee da la da dum ba dee day did you ever check out the famous, oh my god, I still haven't, I'm so sorry. I've got baby brain going on at the moment, every time I uh, end the stream and go home, I enter baby mode, and uh, I don't do these things. So, I'm sorry for my tardiness, but I will say that uh, please, please know that I normally do better. It's just my uh, memory. My creativity has never been higher, but my memory has never been more shocking. So here we are. <laughs> what a fun time to be alive. Clear blue skies. Cindy, is it Cindy? Cindy? Yes, Cindy. It is. It's a big sky. It's a big sky today. What a fun day to be out painting. We've got uh, oh, 700 Springs Ranch is looking good over there. This is the thing though, I'm getting, I don't want to sound weird here, I'm getting emotionally connected to 700 Springs Ranch, and that's the perfect time to put it down, let it sit for a day or two, and see what needs doing. And now I need to invest that emotional energy that's cooping itself up, being brought to the surface in this cute picture. Cute picture, loving picture, fun picture. La ba dee boom ba dee da, la da dee dum da dee day. Get a little bit of wilderness right here, right here, right now, right here, right now. I want. <sighs> Ultramarine blue. If you've been here before, you'll know that's a very, very predictable mood by Sebastian Gower. The trick is making it look like a new idea every time I grab ultramarine blue. But we all know, we all know it's not. Seb's like, hmm, what color next? And if you know, as soon as he's thought about it for five plus seconds, you know easily going for brilliant magenta, ultramarine blue, or Naples yellow. He's an unpredictable painter, and the fans are like, is he though? <laughs> I'm going to sleep now, Pharaoh. It has been an absolute pleasure having you in the building here, playing around with me, the building, the studio, the studio of the world. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here you absolute bunch of legends. Pharaoh, get some sleep and know that I appreciate you. Get a good night's sleep. Now, let me just scroll up here a little bit. Do, 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 do. No, Shelby, you are all good. For those who don't know, Shelby, mother of my child, is uh, popping into the stream to say hi. 
Get yourselves a partner, a teammate. Get yourself a partner that you call a teammate, guys. Oh, that's important. I mean, can we always talk about our, you know, a partner this, partner that? How do you know if you're with the right partner? If you're able to confidently, or it feels more adequate to call them a teammate, then you're probably with the right partner. And me and Shelby make a pretty good team. Pretty good team. We didn't get much sleep last night because of the baby, but she's a happy little monkey. She drank lots of milk, and uh, we're still pretty happy about it. How do you ever keep so attached to a painting that you keep a painting? Do you ever get so... <laughs> this is a good question. Do you ever get so attached to a painting that you keep it? Okay, so... <laughs> it has been like, oh my God, there has been a few that I've been like, I'm going to keep it. I ain't going to send it. I'm going to keep that one. Now, how do you get around that? That's going to be a reality. If you actually... If you're gonna be an artist, don't think that you're gonna be able to just sell, like you're like, I just wanna sell my art. If you wanna be a real artist, you're gonna start falling in love with your art and then you're not gonna to wanna to sell it. And you'll actually start doing bargains with yourself, being like, what if I just get another job and start keeping it? If you think like that, you are in just the right place with your art. That is the dream spot. But when it comes to, uh, when it comes to that, my solution to that I've got these prints. I get the, so we could just sell regular canvas prints. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. But I love color, guys, and I understand color really deeply, probably more than anything else. If you want to say what Seb, what Seb's number one sort of skill, it'd be it'd be color. You know, understanding that within a picture and, and developing that. And blah, 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 blah. So I can't look at a cheap, dirty print and appreciate it. I need to see those real lush colors that it got made with. That's something that really means a lot to me. So these prints come from, this is ridiculous. They come from the oldest mill in the world, the paper does. How rude can a duck be? Here I am. Um, they come from the oldest mill in the world for the paper, you know, and hilarious, um, and the ink is lasts for a hundred years, blah, 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 all that sort of carry on, but it captures the true image. So although I don't get to appreciate the texture that the real work has, and the different angles and different lighting conditions, I can see the real image. So what I do with my real favorites, the ones that really do connect with me, is, is, I get a print of them. So I'll have things like, uh, Loved Cassie's Joy, the dog shot. Love the dog shot. Loved Mahalo. I have a Mahalo one. I've got a Treasure State, Bangkok Waterfall. Um, this one of the ones I've got prints of. Basically, long story short, guys, I buy my own prints. When you're like, the, print, the prints are there as much for me to get over, uh, to get over pieces that I liked as they are for people who also like the works. <laughs> and that's why I was yarning before saying, uh, I'm probably gonna own a print of this one. I'm probably gonna buy a print of it. You know the coolest thing about that too, guys? I'm gonna gloat here. I get discounts. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Baby is asleep and we're working. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Guys, sounds like the Sib Garrett website's going to be updated soon. That's pretty exciting. Um, if you're interested too, team, I've actually started posting blog posts. Um, I'm trying to keep up and do about one every three days. And the idea behind it is basically the frequently asked questions or... <laughs> he's a happy dog. Um, the frequently asked questions will just elaborate more on them a lot of the time. Things like, uh, why do you move so much when you paint? Why do you use color like that? Why do you do this, do that? Blah, 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 blah. And, and updates like, hey, puzzles are available. I've been looking at some watches and I've been looking at, um, what have I been looking at? 
leggings, leggings and things like this. It's a very happening park. It's a fun park. And it's a nice dog, to be fair. It's a good looking dog. I love a dog that's excited about something and that dog wants to have that ball thrown. At least you know what it wants, you know? You can respect something that knows what it wants. It's not like a, it's not confused about possibilities. It's like, no, no, all I, I saw this great, speaking of, I saw the most amazing uh, meme on Facebook. It's a genie with a blank look on its face, looking down at a dog who's looking up really enthusiastically. And the genie's like got its arms down by its sides like this. And it's like, well, I could throw the ball for a third time. <laughs> Basically saying the dog, when given three wishes to have anything it wanted in the world, had already wished twice and was in the process of wishing a third time to have the ball thrown. And uh, I think that's a fun message to learn from there. That actually, uh, we can get way too hung up on thinking. I think social media does it to us. We want the world. We want this. We want that. Seek your dreams. Go after this. Yeah, I get it. Seek your dreams. But they don't have to be, um, they don't have to be gigantic. I think we're all told that big dreams need to be big. You know what a big dream is? Starting a beautiful family. Living a beautiful life. Going to beautiful places. And being truly happy. What a cool dream. And yet, other dreams are like, let's start our own law firm. Let's, let's own my own business. Let's make six figures. All this stuff only exists so you don't have to worry. This is, start your own law firm, start your own business. If your business, if your business goal is to actually get big enough to donate so much money to help mental health in your country or support um, single mums or whatever it might be. That's something cool. That's a goal, that's pretty fun. But to just say, I wanna make six figures to own a big boat, you know? Is that really the big dream? Really? Like, when someone's like, my dream is to own a yacht, is that, is that the big picture? Like, or is that just a fun thing that you'd like to do? If you'd like to do it once, buy a ticket, go on a yacht once and, and Pretend like you own it and you'll have fun. And then, and then I'm sorry to be the friend to tell you this, but get a better dream. There's so much stuff out there that you could dream for. So much out there that's worth being a part of. Mm. Anyway, cute rant. <laughs> Hello, welcome on in. And hello, my dream is to move to New Zealand. I love that, but why? If your dream's real, let me ask you why you want the dream. Um, I wanna paint, because I like to make the world, I think, I think that through this I can make the world a little bit of a better place. I think I can. And that's why, that's why a lot of these paintings actually donate um, I like to donate through the paintings to charities and things because I like to know that every stroke of paint that hits the surface is making a difference. So if I'm feeling less on form on any particular day, I can actually lean on the fact that going, no, even if you're not feeling like it, if that brush can just touch the canvas, you could make a difference. That's really compelling. That drives me forward big time, big time. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh, Portugal, fair enough. Um, that drives me forward big time. And uh, one of my biggest goals, which has now been achieved, guys, congratulations to me, was being a dad. I really wanted to be a dad, guys. That was always something really big on my, uh, my goals board. Wanted to be a dad. Because aside from all the make the world a better place sort of stuff, which is really important, selfishly, Selfishly, I really wanted to have something in this world that would always, in perpetuity, for the rest of my life, matter more than me. A why that would be all-consuming. And I've got that now. And that's kind of special. It's kind of like, uh, rather than thinking, what's best for me? You know, because we go into so many situations thinking that. And it's exhausting 
to actually start every situation with thinking, right, what's best for that thing that now means more than me? Give me more of that world. That's a good world to be in. And uh, honestly, that's servitude to something else. And it is, it's a servitude. That's improved the art. That's given a freedom to the strokes. It's changed the way it gets created in a really, really fun way. Because now that I'm in service to something, I feel like also I'm in service to the art. And yielding yourself to allow the picture to be a picture changes it beautifully. <laughs> Zalera? Z Zalia? Yes, he is. You jealous of my walk? It's pretty good. My kids are twenties and teens now. It goes by so fast. Yeah. But how cool is that? That's what everyone tells me too. That time's gonna fly by. It already is flying by. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a song that, uh, that I used to like when I was a kid by Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney, country song called Don't Blink. Don't blink, just like that, you're six years old and you take a nap, you wake up and you're 35 and your high school sweetheart becomes your wife. It's like a classic, classic song. Cheesy. He does cheesy well. Don't blink, just like that, you're six years old and you take a nap and you Wake up and you're 35. Wait, 25, 24. Getting mixed up here. Wake up and you're 25. Your high school sweetheart becomes your wife. Here we go. La di di da da di da. La di di do da di da. Oh no, I'm close to being 25. Well, good for you. Good for you. Good time. I think the one thing I wish I'd been told though, I was always told to have fun, you know, blah, 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 blah. Live up your 20s. No one told me. I had very few role models in my life at that stage that said, no, nah, no, nah. some people will live up their 20s, but you will probably have more fun in your 30s. I like being 30s. <laughs> I suit that better. And uh, I talk to a few people now when I say that opinion, they're like, actually, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Like, I, 20s were okay, but I spent most of my 20s working. Which was really fun, don't get me wrong. So much experience and things like that. But uh, the mental health and the freedom I have in my 30s to just be me, it's refreshing, guys. Goodbye and good riddance to the uh, insecure, masculinity-challenging, weird and hard-to-fit-in world of your 20s. Bring on the be yourself, who cares, as long as you're happy, make friends, have a good time, 30s. That's what I have to say about that. That's what I have to say about that. And guys, we are, I said this for the 19.4, and now I'm saying it for the 29.4, we are a delightful, juicy, happy-go-lucky 400 likes off getting it to 30,000 likes which I reckon is pretty fun. So, whoever's been busy slamming away on their uh, phone screen to make that happen, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate your support and I love you to bits. Love how much your work has developed, you absolute legend. You're a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I appreciate that. Probably because I'm getting a breath of fresh air. I've been outside here. It's a lovely place to be. But I um, also think it's pretty cool too because a lot of people, like, if you look at 
just these last few decades alone, a lot of people reach their, uh, and will still reach their 50s, 60s and 70s until they actually allow themselves to be themselves. And until then, they'll just sort of try and people please and be what they think they should be. It's a heartbreaking thing to do. And you look back on it later on in your life and you accept who you were, but actually you just wish that you'd been there to tell yourself, just be you, just relax. It's in the book. The eight regrets, the seven regrets, the dying. They just said, I wish I didn't care so much. Everyone said this. I wish I didn't care so much about what everyone else thought. I wish I'd just been me. And we do. We care so much. And why? They're all going to be dead, including us. Why can't we just be ourselves and enjoy that? And why can't we just enjoy that other people have been themselves? Why do we have to judge? No, that's wrong. Be more like me. No, that's wrong. That doesn't fit in with what we think things should be. Ooh, yuck. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Crimson flag, scarlet flag, beige, is beige a red color? Magenta flag, all the colors of red. Every shade of red is in that flag. That's what I would say. May, welcome on in. Welcome on in. We're chucking some blue on a picture of these beautiful, beautiful mothers, uh, auntie and mother, surrounding Chancellor as he gets a kiss goodbye before he goes off and becomes a successful, incredible individual over in Canada. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. And thanks, Jay. It's true, guys. If you want to um, see more of the art, see more of me, connect more, blah, blee, blah, 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 there's a link in the bio that'll take you everywhere that you want to go. And from there... We might find that you need, that you like the replays, that you like the fun reels, that you just like a little bit of talking every now and again, that you may be going to a beach house and you want a puzzle. You may want a commission because you've got a picture that you think might suit the style. You've got a art form of your own, be it painting, something to do with the computers, music singing, whatever it might be, and you want to connect because you feel like maybe there's something I can say that can help, absolutely reach out. Everything's there. Whatever you need. And I'm sorry, guys, too, if I'm beh I am behind on messages. So if you do send me a message, I don't reply straight away, please know it's not my intention to ignore you. It's just I get behind on things. I get behind, and I've just had a new baby. That's not an excuse. <laughs> but that has happened and uh, one of the things that has uh, lapsed or been left a little bit worse off than usual is the DMs so if you have sent me a message and I haven't got back to you that's because rather than uh, firing off a million voice messages in my DMs I might be holding a uh, bottle to a gorgeous little baby's face that's the reality of the situation thanks JTD you legend Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You see the painting now, eh? Yeah, it's a little bit wild. It's a fun one. It's wild, but it's fun. Now, I need to get some deep... Are we going to come back with some deep greens? I think we are. We've done a lot of deep greens, but... Are we going to do some more? And the sun might pump out again. It's behind a cloud right now, so we're a little bit muted on the color palette physically in this area but hold on let me just do some quick math here Tere Verde into Payne's Grey that's the plan Tere Verde into Payne's Grey oh and I might get a little bit before we go after this of crimson crimson nature is a beautiful thing nature is the most beautiful thing and you JTD are a part of it because you're human. It's funny we say go into nature as if like you're not a part of it when actually actually it's the only thing. It's actually ironically not something that we are as a subcategory. It's the only thing we're actually a part of. And yet we'd not trick ourselves, but feel like maybe that we weren't. 
maybe that we were beyond nature. Just another form of it. Just another form of the universe expressing itself. itself. And we get to be here. Look at this. Listen to bird calls in a park as we slap colored liquid on a 2D surface. This is so confusing. So confusing that not only that I would find personal satisfaction in this weird, crazy little process, but that anyone, you guys, you bunch of weirdos, that you'd want to join me. <laughs> um, I'm constantly overwhelmed by people who've collected paintings, the love that they send back and to say, look, I look at this picture all the time. It does this, it does that. It enriches my life. And like sometimes you wonder why you're doing what you do. It's good to keep those kind of messages, those letters and emails close at hand, like printed off in a desk drawer or something. And then when you need it, you pull it out and read them and go, actually, this art is having a positive impact. It's, it's helping in a weird, fun kind of way. Absolutely, I'm using a walk. I think less of the question of why I'm using a walk is, why aren't you? And May's like, I'm a digital analyst. I, what would I use a walk for? <laughs> so, well, probably there could be a... Uh, purpose for you maybe maybe a leap on daddy town da little daddy day a da la da da do da la da da dee but la bum bum boo And I follow my pride, stay deep inside, and da 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 da. There we go. That goes through there. So that, yeah, sneaking through there. Hello. Woo! Perfect. A bit more down through there. There we go. Lovely. There we are. Hello. Sneak that through there. A bit more green. Kind of sneaks up through here. More than you'd realize. Down there. Hello. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Thanks, May. Walk or not use a walk? I would say walk. Walk you want, baby I got it. Walk you need, for a little respect. I don't know the words. I forget. Right, two shades of red. Two shades of glorious red. Hey, Brandy, great name. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. I say that every time Brandy comes in. I'm sorry, Brandy. Mum and the little one are doing fantastically. I'm doing fantastically. Because Mum's amazing, I get to be here painting this park. But after these red colours, I'll adjourn back there and uh, sit down with a coker and upload some of the lives because I've been slack on that. Sorry, team. And, uh, yeah. What? Go from there. Babali boom ba di da. Da da li dun da di day. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. La da li dun da di da. Lint on daddy day. There we go. There we go. 
That's the angle I needed on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lot of leap do daddy day. Here we go. And our other shade of red is going to splash through there. And do 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 do. There we go. All right, team. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> You'd be humming that all day. Yeah. Is it even a song or did that just get stuck in my head? Do, 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 do. Looks great. Oh, thank you. It's, um, it's a fun one. It's an explosion of fun colors. And that's, like I said, that's what we're after. But anyway, ooh, the sun's just coming out from behind that cloud. We have one last little sip of water, and then, mm, perfectly timed, it's time for me to scurry off back inside. Wash the plate, wash the brushes, pack that up. I need to make an infantry, I need to buy some more colors, and uh, this one here, dry, and then a little bit more love needs to go onto it. But I like where it's at, I like where it's at. All right, guys. 31.8 thousand likes, 32,000 likes, you absolute legends. Thank you to everyone. If anyone's been here since the start, you're an absolute legend. Thanks for being here. And uh, if you've just joined in, I'm so sorry. I'm about to dash, but uh, this whole replay will get uploaded live to a whole bunch of different platforms, so you might catch it. If you want any more art content, you know where to go. It's in the bio. If you want that, do that. Otherwise, this link's about to just disappear, and you can go on scrolling through your social media. But uh, if it is like 2 a.m. in the morning, try, try, and I lose this fight so often, but just try and put the phone down and get some sleep. I didn't do that last night, and so I stayed up way too late. I ended up losing half the morning because I was way too tired to actually wake up. My own fault. So don't be me. Get some sleep. And if you're going to start your day, I hope you have a great one. Cheers, guys. Bye now. Oh, and Jay, thanks for being here moderating, mate. You're an absolute champion. LJ, thanks for being here for the whole time. You're an absolute legend. Dragonfly, catch you later. Bye, guys.